when you're in boarding school mm -hmm. and you need to get in touch with your mom, dad, what do you do? Call them, FaceTime. Okay. Oh, FaceTime. With yes. what phone? Um, iPhone, or I can do it with my laptop as well. I have a MacBook. Yeah. Um, so I can just FaceTime them. If no, I can, WhatsApp has video call. And then right now I have, I, look, I used to go to boarding school in the US, mm -hmm. so I could FaceTime my friends there. Mm -hmm. And it keeps you like in contact with everyone you feel close to. Right. You can keep up a relationship, like have like night calls. Like yeah. I, I, I have calls with my friends in the UK at yeah. so, like 2 a.m. So across coffee. time zones. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Communication. Hey, wait. <laughs> so when what's, you were in boarding school, don't remind me. I know, I'm so sorry, it's so traumatic. Yeah. Hmm. There's no calling mommy, there's no calling daddy, except maybe if you have a friend who's a day student. If you went you... to a school that was close enough to town. Yeah. Like like you you write your... a... yeah. Nobody was Not a day student. Exactly, yeah. so you write a letter and send home. Um... Via night post. <laughs> <laughs> God, so good. you could have this friend that you give the letter to, say maybe on a Monday. Yes. And when she shows up on the Tuesday, did you drop it? And she goes, oh, I forgot it was in my school. I was doing my homework. So your parent might not get that letter until the weekend after. Hmm. We didn't have this, mm -hmm. you know, at the tip of your fingers where you can just call your 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 parents. Like our kids can call us now. Yes. You know. But let me um, let me pivot on. Uh, let mm -hmm. me stay on what you're saying, but move mm -hmm. to another mode of communication. When you were home on holiday. Yeah. How did you guys communicate to hang out? With who? Friends. We just yep, all yeah. knew Apart that from, we were... Okay, you were in first act, so maybe... Yeah, 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 yeah but also to... you have friends who are not Outside, in yeah. yeah in first... But you just make plans. Don't forget that we have phones that we tap. Okay, yes, we had landlines. We had landlines. Well, everybody had landlines. Not everybody had landlines. I can tap. tap. Let me explain oh, tap right. to you. It's so interesting. So, so, a landline phone. You've seen a landline phone? Yeah. No. No. Uh, so the, the landline, the the, the, yes, the one with the buttons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they stay at home, and then when you're done with the phone, you hang up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And then the 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 two the things on the the thing on the phone, you hang up, it clicks down. That's yeah. how you cut the phone. Oh, so that's what you meant to have. Correct. So when you no, don't, you, when you are not yeah, able, we'll yes. tap it now. So what thing. happens is, on a rotary phone or even the one you tap, they can lock it, so you can't yes. dial. So you can't dial because it, we used to run up the phone bill. Yeah. Yeah. You just when the guy calls you at night, you just he, you call your friend and I used to sit on the phone. He's not going to bed. Yeah. So for, for two hours, and your parents will get a big yeah. phone bill. So they used to lock the phone. So they lock so the mommy phone. and daddy were the only ones that had the code to open the phone or the key to open yeah. the phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A rotary phone was literally key locked. Yeah. So what you could do when you pick up the phone, that same thing they used to cut it was actually the dialer. Yeah. So if your number, the number you're dialing is four five six two two five. Yeah. You dial. You tap it. You one, tap it four times. One, one two, two three, three four. four. One, one two, two three four, four five. five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the zero is ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you and wait the for it to ring. ring. And there's no bill. There's still a there's bill. There's still a bill. But it's like, I don't know where you got your bill. I you got your phone. The phone's locked. That's oh. what you're saying. And that four, five, six, you better type it properly because yeah. you will dial the wrong number. Yeah. Somebody else will not pick it and you're like, crap, I must have hit five instead of yeah. four. <laughs> So tapping was um, dedication. Yeah, that was the but way. Do you, do you guys think it like slow time da uh, time down a bit? Because I feel like now looking back, mm -hmm. so people still feel disconnected because of how fast paced they're used to. Now they're used to this like almost boundary of like, oh, that I can talk to people whenever I want. And so if someone doesn't pick up my call, like my mm -hmm. mom is like in a different time zone. Oh, now I can't even like talk to my parents anymore. That's a very interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. I was talking about how you said you write a letter. Yeah. They will deliver it. You wait yeah. for them to come back. Now yeah. you text someone 10 minutes, yeah. they haven't responded. Yes. Like, blocked. Yeah. Like, how can you? How can you? Yeah. You, that, what, you did double tick. Yeah. Why have you not responded? Yeah. You're right. So, so it's so easier something to has learn, happened with patience. It's easier to learn the art of, or the skill of delayed gratification. Oh my God, which doesn't exist anymore. Which doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Which doesn't exist anymore. Because you had to wait. You had to wait. And even now, if you need anything, you're in boarding school, you need anything now, your parents will send those things to you, you immediately. Do... You had to wait for... And, and, and maybe, uh, yeah. I'm so glad we have... Uh, and yeah. I, I, I want to wrap up. I'm coming. Yeah. Um, how do you guys react to that? And you are a more disciplined child, yes, perhaps. But when you delay gratification, you can't have it now. Mm -hmm. You can't go now. No, when I She's when itching. I want something, yeah. Her body's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I like, there's something that I want. If I want to go out with my friends and my parents are like, no, if there's anything, it gets really frustrating because you feel like there's so many ways you could do it yourself. Like if you want to mm -hmm. go out, for example, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, your parents don't want to take you. Well, uh, <laughs> if my parents will watch this, yeah, I'll be like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, I can take an Uber. I could just, I could just take an Uber. I could just call what's it called again? Um, Bolts. Yeah, Uber. Yeah. 
There's all da- do- anything you want. If you don't want to buy me the pizza, I will call you. I will just, yes, oh, I'll give me a food, eat, whatever. Bring it. So you so have options. There's options and it almost feels like there's like so many things you can do to get it yourself. So it's almost like, why can't I? Why can't I? Why can't I? Because I said you can't. <laughs> just because I said. Just because. Why can't that I talk I, to my friends? Because I want you to have them. patience. Yeah. I want you to learn that. Yes. It's everything that you want that you can get. It's, it's really... Yeah. I, I wanted to I wanted to have this conversation because um, there's a lot of misunderstanding across mm-hmm. generations. Mm-hmm. Every generation thinks that they're better than the other generation. The other generation thinks that we don't know. I used to, my mom would say, uh, you are doing this. I know what you're doing before you do it. Yeah. I'll just, mm, mm, <laughs> no. But now Been when there. I look at my son, yeah. you know, like, when he tries to, like, I know. Yeah. And you look at me like, sure you do. <laughs> and I have and to I'm... explain things to my parents now to, like, break it down. Because there's some things that, especially with the mental health conversation, LGBTQ, you know, changing norms, mm-hmm. it's hard for not. Oh, my God. Those those are tough. Yeah. Those yeah. are tough. Yeah. These conversations, tough. they didn't yeah, those exist for us. Those are tough. And yeah. you guys expect us to to understand. And you are more lenient to accepting that, that lifestyle. Because right. they, and it's really tough for us. Yes. Exciting for some people. This this newer the Gen Z Alpha, there's they 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 were born into things that are like magic for yeah. you. Yeah. So what you're saying, accepting, you know, you know, same sex relationships, all these AI, so, so, AI, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's another uh, topic. That's another. That girl yeah. says that's two other topics, right? <laughs> uh, you have to be patient. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and this is even a Gen Z moment. This is all he's actually and, kind and, of savvy. And, so, and, and also, they're so easily offended. Oh, my God. You guys are so yes. easily offended. Yes. Right? And then we, we can't, and triggered, we can't, we can't just observe things and just say it as it is, right? Without you guys being offended. Yes. It's, so I'll give you an example. The other day I saw, um, I was with my son and we're on the high street and, um, I saw this pretty young lady just walk past us, and I and I looked at him, and I thought, she's pretty, mm-hmm. you know. And he goes, "Why are you objectifying?" Ah, <laughs> she's and a fine like, no, girl. She's just a she's a pretty fine, girl. Yes. Cute. yes. And I saw she's just cute. She's yeah, the. She's, yeah. He said, "No." She's I mean, not thank an, God for that. Too, she's because... not an object. Oh. And I was like, "Oh." I mean, you're about to agree with that, no, aren't you? Yeah, but it's just like how you view the, like. Because it's such a like way of thinking that's normal yeah. to you. That's how people maybe in the 1960s were like, look yeah. at that black person, <laughs> look at that yeah. female doing her right. thing. So it's almost like yeah. because Objects. we're having a voice and yes. like technology, all this information has given us almost like the confidence and yeah. like ability to see things in a certain way that wants us to speak out. Yeah. Like this is the age of like like no like breaking all the rules, you know? Like yeah. that's the theme. So it's almost like when we see something, we're going to speak out because we know that we can and mm. we know that we should mm. to like oh make the world a better place. Good. Y'all, y'all in trouble now. <laughs> but yeah. like, if they see everything. something, yeah. they know that they can speak out. And yeah. I think, and that's the problem with that everything yeah. that is good, there's also yeah. a downside. Yeah. Speaking up about everything also has yeah. a you know, part every, where, If you see a yeah, problem, you speak yeah. out, even where it's not a problem, sometimes it's subjective. Yeah. Something is not a problem and you just make it a problem. I just yeah, you make it a problem. Yeah. Like, I will say this openly and I'm learning. The thing about pronouns mm-hmm. and what someone wants to be referred to as, mm-hmm. if I don't know your pronouns, I will call you what I, what you look like. I'm like, oh, hey, how yeah. are you? I met him yesterday and then he now says they. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you were a they, but even that is confusing for me. Yeah. And people need to be, yes, there's some people that just don't want to learn, but it's also tough. You have to understand how I don't understand how one person can be a they. Yeah. But I'm getting, I, I will, they, you know, be they, you, they. Yeah. Well, we figure it out. Yeah. But don't, I think don't... they're trying to... T- for us, what appears to be abnormal is becoming normal. Mm-hmm. And so for us, just it's, it's give us time. Isn't it? and I'm I happy think... that you guys are moving at the speed of light. Yeah. yeah. I think one of the things that also not just frustrates um, our generation, but it's just like there, is that like you don't understand how it was for us. But like when other generations comment on how we're more emotional, we're more like sensitive. Yes. And I do see that I understand that when even like... I don't want to go into American news, but you know, American news talks about like they make a huge case about yeah, something thing. that, yeah, about something Everything that we we'll see and like pass. But yes. like, I feel like it's because of what we've been brought into and how we've been expected to feel. When you start telling someone to talk about their feelings, yeah, it becomes something that they want to do. Yeah, and when they start wanting to do it, then they now push other people to do it, and it becomes yeah. like 
So I, I yeah. do understand our generation. Okay. We do make more noise per se with our activism. Mm-hmm. Like I'm an activist, so mm. yeah. it's kind of my forte. You just but... want other. You just want people to see things the way you see it. We just want to change the world for the better. You, for the because they believe that we ruined it. Well, not me, but y'all. Ruined it. <laughs> they believe that y'all ruined it. It wasn't me. We were just in the middle trying to enjoy our simple life. But no. You guys came and thought we ruined it, but it was them that ruined it. Guys, there's... Well, I suppose the, we, we, we came from a generation where you don't necessarily have to say everything. You don't necessarily have to say how you feel all the time. And um, but it's also yeah. like people be... Like, I know some people, I'm not speaking for myself mm-hmm, personally mm-hmm. or the entire generation, but some people think that, like, your generation, per se, was mm-hmm. more, more muted as a, like, you were more, like... And it's actually, like, And I agree with you. You know generational trauma? Yes. And how it, like we, there were more wars. Like we are having actually a good life right now. But you know, during the Biafra war, doing all those things that happened, yeah. you guys were almost made to like hide in in yourselves, and yeah. that led you not talking about your emotions, which led to almost like passive aggressiveness, which mm. led to us now mm. almost having to like receive the brunt of that. Yeah. yeah there, but now we want to talk about everything. No, yeah. See, there, no, there so are advantages. I would like, say there are advantages. And even as a young I, lady, I would say like when I was a young, when I was young, like her age, there are certain things I couldn't speak to my parents about. Yeah which they are very open about now. And even with my sons, I'm so appreciative that, you know, some of them can be closed, but others are like an open book mm-hmm. and they are willing to speak to you. And they're, and then so, and so I'm really appreciative that they are open with me. And then I look at the, you know, the difference of, you know, like when I was younger, there's certain things I couldn't say to my parents that I wish that I could have shared with their parents, with my, with my parents. Mm. Um, so yeah, so I am appreciative of that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, Maybe you should do it with a bit of humility as well. Oh, you guys are. my sure. gosh. Yeah. That's Maybe another thing. Maybe you guys should do it with a bit of humility. I, I just also think right. that it builds character. Yeah. I feel I may be wrong, but people seem weaker today. Yeah. My mom has triggered, and it did this, yeah. and it triggered me, and I did it, and it triggered me. Mm. I, I don't know, Mar's looking at me with No, no it comes no, with their being open. Open. I yeah. agree. I it comes like... with their being open. And I think... We're not going to really see the effects until maybe the next 20 years on how it affects how we are as parents. Oh. But right now, hopefully, mm. hopefully, mm-hmm. like the thing. I was going to like, say the ones that come after you. Guys. Oh my goodness! Because <laughs> um, that's going to be wild. Even yeah. like with how like I want like for me personally, I like to experience the world. I want to be able to like like my like you know when there's there's certain things that happen and parents get afraid. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we don't want you to get kidna- yeah. kidnapped. You don't yeah, want yeah, this yeah. to happen to you, a bad experience. Yeah. And it's like, it's these experiences that make you, like, build you up as a person. And I, yeah. you, we all probably had our own shares yeah, of yeah. ones. But as, yes. like, if you grow up in a more, like, environment where they want you to be more protected, you're, you're, you're more with technology, less with, like, real life. You can't really experience, like, mm. fights in person. Mm-hmm. You're not really able to, like, build that character. Mm. So we'll see how that affects us in 20 years. I am, yeah. I cannot go with keepers. Amen. God will keep us. You guys, thank you so much. You're welcome. For a riveting conversation. <laughs> if I had allowed them, we would keep going. Yes. And then we would, listen, yes. <laughs> we'll then dive into how much damage they've done to society. Yes. And why we're here. And what about the yes. boys that were raised? Yes. As they met, what about the girls? What have yes. they decided to become? And yes. it's so much. And there's so Future. much. But the point, I think the summary of it is, understanding yes even relationships yes oh my goodness the difference between relationships then and relationships and... oh my goodness gracious There's, yes it's too much yes but understanding who you are. understanding who you are mm-hmm. and if you weren't given the chance to understand who you are well now you can yes and so that you, you don't pass on a trauma yes or the trauma to your kids yes and then also understanding that these people are coming from we're, we're coming from a different time yeah yeah, yeah. right we yeah, didn't yeah. have the technology yeah. the immediate now no, no, no. patience yeah, yeah, yeah. was a thing and it's okay yeah. so when someone can have patience and you can't it's like what is wrong with you people mm-hmm. no under what I need from you. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Understand. Understand. Don't mind me. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Mara. You're Thank welcome. you so much, Abby. You're welcome. If you have any comments, please make them at the bottom of the the book comment box at the bottom of the screen. Subscribe. My name is Ngozi. Until next time, you have to say keep it real. Follow. Amara, what do you have? Um, Instagram. Instagram. Follow her on Instagram here. And, and if you are ever in the mood to watch some random Gen Z mommy TikToks, please, right here <laughs> on Instagram. We'll try and make a few after. We'll try and make a few after. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please keep Thank it real. Thank you. Let's say keep it real. Keep, keep it real. real. Bye, guys.